This episode begins slightly differently to most of our episodes in that I am the only person here right now because I am currently recording this at midnight 40 a.m. on a Wednesday morning in London and obviously non-gay is in bed. But the news broke on a very important night out for me and I had to be here to talk about it because it is incredible um <laughs> by the way i have an hour i just found my head i have had uh, rather a few drinks because tonight i was out raising money for terence higgins trust which is a very important aids charity um that operates in the uk anyway tonight the vote in australia came out as 61.6 percent of people in favor of same-sex marriage down under which is amazing more than 12.7 million people about 79.5 percent of eligible voters took part in the eight-week postal survey and it has finally come out after a very enduring campaign of awful propaganda that said terrible things about the gay community. It's finally come out that 61.6% of Australians are in favour of same-sex marriage. And that, oh my God, that makes me so happy. Like, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. I'm so, I'm so happy about that. Thank you. Congratulations, Australia. I love you. Let's get into today's episode. Welcome to a gay and a non-gay. Hello, I'm James Barr, and that is Dan Hudson, and we are at Gay Non Gay on all of your socials. Please tell your friends about us so that we can visit you. Do you know what I've been doing? What? Which has been life affirming. I've just been turning my phone off. Like, why? What's wrong? Because I don't need. Like, firstly, I hate it when people phone me with a passion. I don't know why people phone you. No one phones me. But you phone me all the fucking time. People go, "Oh, I tried to phone you earlier. Yeah, and I didn't want to speak to you." <laughs> <laughs> Is that what happens when I phone you? Because I have tried to phone you and you've not answered. Are you okay, Dan? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. It's so rude, don't you think, to phone someone? Just, just period. Yeah. I, I, no, I'm with you. I was just checking on you. Like, I in this no, day, I completely agree. I hate it. In, in, in this day and age, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's you need to tell me need first. need a bloody good reason to phone someone. It's like tell turning me first. Up, it's like turning up at someone's house. Oh my god, it is. In this, right. in this day and age, you're like, so right. In the nineties, it was fine because like yeah, you had no yeah. other. You'd go in the back door. It wouldn't matter. You'd be like, all right, Becky, all right, Deirdre, let me. I'm just coming in for yeah, tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no problem. Lovely to see you. Yeah. No, I don't know why I'm doing Northern Acts. Well, I do know why I'm doing Northern Acts. Well, I think actually, <laughs> I think actually, it's probably fine if you live in the north. To, no, to, it's to, not. To come and go, as you oh, please. Oh my god, it's not. If you ring someone now and you haven't told them you're going to ring them first, it's awful. I'm not ready. Also, I don't have particularly good phone signal. And they go, oh, is something wrong with your phone? So my the only thing wrong with a phone yeah. is that my phone, as well as me, doesn't want to speak to you. That's the thing wrong with a phone. My dad does this as can well. Can we go to... Like, I don't actually mind texting, by the way. I can send... I don't mind sending like 10, 15 texts. That's cool. Yeah. One call... It, yeah, my ear. It's unacceptable. I agree. Well, uh, yeah, good. Spread the word. Two unlikely friends take on the world. Wait, well, I, and then people go, have woken you up? Yes. Yeah. You know, really and then, also, they go, then they go, oh, they make some sarky comment because it's like nine o'clock or something in the morning. Possibly the only thing that makes me actually panic is a voicemail. Leaving one or receiving, receiving one? Receiving a voicemail makes me, because just to put this out there, because people don't realize this. Voicemails are only for emergencies in 2017. I don't. I don't really mind giving or receiving a voicemail. I'm talking about voicemail still. I am very versatile when it comes to voicemails, but I don't like them in general. But I'll still I'll happily receive. Give it some gay. So I finally spoke to James Three. <laughs> oh my god, you're joking! I didn't tell you about my James Three update. So James Three um, features in an episode called James Three. <laughs> James Three is a guy that I know through work. He spoke to me ages ago and said, oh, didn't they, you did a podcast with this guy, James Barr. I see him at the gym every day and he ignores me. And there's a whole episode that we did about that topic called James Three that you can go back and listen to. What, what words am I going to say? What do I say? Hi, how are you? Hi, you're friends with Dan. <laughs> I can already feel myself burning up in embarrassment. Oh, James, hey, James, nice to meet you. Um, apparently, you know Dan and uh, you work together. Yeah, we've got loads of mutual friends. I added you awkwardly on Facebook and then did a podcast about you, <laughs> which, was, which was called James. Nice to see you. How's your workout, How's your workout going? Um, <laughs> He, yeah, but he hadn't listened to the podcast. Right. He, so he, didn't to that point. he didn't know he that we'd be was... talking about him. He didn't know we'd be talking about him in this way. No. Uh, but he texted me like three weeks ago and was like, 
just heard uh, just heard James three. No way, he didn't hear it. Uh, yeah, he did. Okay, right. So Dan told that me that. Sure. Anyway, so I'm in the gym and I see James three. Now I haven't seen him for weeks at this point. I don't know why, but this was the first time I've seen him in a while. Um, and I saw him and I fell off the treadmill because I was like, oh shit, Dan three is there. Oh my god. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure if he saw me, but I just was like, I just did that sort of like non-gay head nod thing that you do because he's not gay. He's non-gay. So I was just like, all right, and then assumed my position back on the treadmill watching this morning. Gay. Okay, so he's the text you. Then what? I was like, oh, God, just, I, don't, I don't want to see him at work because it's going to be like. But well, you've well. seen him at work. Yeah, he was like, um, oh my god, I can't deal with this. This is awful. <laughs> so, whoa. Okay, so he's heard the podcast where I have a complete meltdown about the fact that he has the best arms ever, <laughs> and now he's seen you at work. Anyway, he his response was, "What are you doing? I can't drink beer. It just went all over my face. Just tell me his response." His response was, <laughs> "He just thought it was funny. It's fine. Is that it?" Yeah. Turn up the non-gay. Do you think he likes me as a person? Not as obviously he's not sexually attracted to me. Know. That's fine. I'm not being predatory. Why don't you ask him? You go to the gym with him every day. Why don't no, you... I don't. I don't go to the gym with him. And it's really weird to speak to him because I know that he's now had this meltdown where I'm like, oh my god, James Three is so hot. I, I can't. I can't deal with that. Also, he didn't accept my friend request. He's still not my friend on Facebook. FYI, it's been months and he didn't accept that friend request. That's bad, isn't it? Why did he do that? Do you think I should unfriend and Some then re-request? Should I re-request <laughs> yeah, now maybe. I'm on his radar? Okay, wait, hold on. Is that like when you, you follow someone on Twitter, they don't follow you back? Yeah, so, so you, you just unfollow and then re-follow. <laughs> so you pop up in their feed. James, what's his name? Here we go. Oh, I've already unfriended because he must have not accepted me. Okay, you ready? We're, by the way, this is not turning into another... This, uh, it's too late. Here we go, you ready? This is not a James Fleet Part 2. Are you ready? Really too many not. numbers. Are you ready? Here we go. Friend request sent. Okay, it's happened. All right. Okay, so we just sit here and wait. <laughs> like, like, the, like the last time this episode happened. God, I feel like I'm in Groundhog Day. Come on, James. I believe in you. No. Can we, can we, can we, can we... Just an uh, update. Just He's end. still not... This is now uh, months, w- months after the original friend request. <laughs> He's still, still not accepted my friend request. Shall I say hello? There's now hello button. That was new. That's new. <laughs> yeah, that is true. That's you a, can now wave at someone. That's new. Shall I send hello? No, don't. Shall I send hello? Why don't. not? Why not? I'm going to do it. You ready? <laughs> what, is he working? I've no idea what he's doing. Okay, I'm going to send hello. <laughs> this is so sad. No, I haven't yet. I'm really, I'm like hovering over the button. I just wouldn't this is do so it. sad. Why? Would you do it if you were sober as a judge? As a judge? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, you mean the phrase sober yes. as a judge? <laughs> the way you said that was like, sorry. if you were sober as a judge, like like I was just a judge. <laughs> Why would a judge not add someone or send hello? I'm sure, I'm sure, a, judge, I'm sure a judge would send a lovely hello. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is such a moment. Are you ready? Is everyone with me? Here we go. Count me in. Actually, Dan, can you count me in? Count me down. Three, two... One. It's sent. Wahey! He's not waved back yet. That's quite rude, isn't it? Because in real life, if you wave <laughs> at someone, they would wave back. Well, he's not necessarily on his phone, is he? Well, everyone gets receipts. I mean, notifications. I mean, what would be funny is if he is actually on air and you could text the radio station. <laughs> I don't think he is. <laughs> Let's check. Hold on. <laughs> He'll be on air at some point. Oh, I'm not okay. 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 I'm so excited. Oh, it's Sean Welby. Who's lovely? I, I actually don't really even fancy him. <laughs> no, I really, honestly, I don't. Find us on your socials at Gay Non Gay. Listen at GayNonGay.com or just search Non Gay at your fave pod app.